It's live finding out more. Hello. Good morning. So we really take this for granted that we have UC Davis right in our backyard, especially the Mind Institute. They do some amazing work here. And one of the things is this study, and they are still looking for kids to participate between the ages of 8 and 12. So parents, if you're watching and thinking that your kid is highly distractible, this may be for you. So Julie, you're the creator of all of this. And so you guys decided to use virtual reality. And how did you get these distractions? You talked with teachers and parents? Exactly. And kids, too. I want to know what they found distracting because I want it to be realistic for them. And so you're asking kids to to participate in this and they get to take these home these virtual reality headsets home and so what are you asking them to do once they get home well the main thing is to practice so I want them to be in the virtual classroom for 20 25 minutes a day and they get to practice attention tasks math tests and so forth so something they'd be doing in real life okay and so this is what it looks like there they are in the classroom and you can see as this moves around the different kids are there you can um, see sometimes a bus passes by in the window um, sometimes the kids are whispering to each other the kids also will wear um, a headset a headset and they'll wear um, headphones that way that they can hear all of the distractions that are going on now Jared you helped create all of this We're we're going to actually put the system through because the kids will wear the headset and then what happens? Uh, so uh, they'll put the headset on, it's super simple, sit down in the chair kind of like this and then we'll start a series of tasks. So we have a math task, we have some continuous performance tasks to really uh, test our executive system, test different cognitive abilities. So can we start this? I actually got the chance to try this uh, myself and it, it's, it's really bizarre to be able to wear this. Um, I didn't have any headphones on, uh, but you do see the kids like kind of moving around and because there's math questions that are going on, you have to actually be doing some work while you're sitting there with the headset on too. So they really want to be able to see if the kids can get the work done without getting distracted by everything that is in the classroom. Now, you see this little thing right here, too. They'll be holding that, um, and then as they're doing the questions, it'll ask them the different things. What's going on, Jared? So, uh, we can't actually start up the task right now, but essentially what happens is tasks appear on this blackboard, just like in a real classroom. Okay. Did and I break it? I tried to get as many math questions I, as I could write. <laughs> you, did, you, did, you didn't break it. Uh, you did great when you ran through, though. And uh, they'll make responses on the controller, and in the headset, we'll be collecting uh, what they're looking at, uh, uh, we'll be collecting eye tracking data okay. so we can see if they're actually distracted by and, our distractions. And let me show you with this too. So let's say on the on the whiteboard it comes up with the thing saying like 1 plus 1 equals 2. It'll say press up for 2 or press down for 3. And so the kids have to be able to do that and then they're hoping that they can get not only the right answer but also not be distracted by everything that is going around. So if you are interested in your kid participating in this, uh, again, ages 8 through 12 and they do not want them to be on any medication because they're trying to see what it's like without the medication and their distractibility. So we have their website linked on our website, gooddaysacramento.com. I believe you guys have it pulled up there too yeah. if parents are interested in getting their kid signed up. A lot of parents have their kids for spring break right now and they're like, yes, my kid is highly distractible. Let me get in touch with the UC Davis Mind Institute. There you go. Yeah, they do amazing work there. Mm -hmm. Amazing work. Thank you so much.